So before we get into the video, I do want to tell you all about a game that I've been playing recently called Raid Shadow Legend. Raid is a free-to-play story-driven campaign game on both mobile and PC. And one of the coolest things is that Raid is currently releasing a bunch of awesome new champions, including one of my favorite factions, the Shadow King. And throughout all the challenges that you are faced with in the game, Raid just released its biggest one yet called the Hydra. It's a super clan boss that's like mini bosses rolled into one and it's got multiple different heads and each one of those heads have unique mechanics. And for the new players, you will get some free resources as well as a free mystery champion but i can't tell you who it is so click that link down in the description and let me know who you get again huge thank you to ray for sponsoring today's episode now let's get back to the video Dropped only like 25 of them. It has like a little peace chief patch on it. It's okay. just a straight up suit, no bag. Which one? Which one, one, which one do you like more? This one or the the beige one? Even though you gave the beige one away, yeah. which one? Like, do you regret that? Be honest. Not, not really. I don't think so. This one is better quality than the first beige one. The first beige okay. one um, was good quality, but this one is just better like he, the design is better like you can even tell some of the seams around here right this the beige one did not have these like seams i don't know it's maybe it's part Man. of the construction but i definitely like this one better than the beige one also this one it just stands out more and i just like it and honestly you wouldn't expect it to go with everything but as long as it's like a dark color like a brown or right green, it goes with it like a white okay it'll just go with that's it. just well, hopefully every drops some more bro like yeah, that's i think he dropped some of them but he needs to drop more i'm sure he'll restock soon what was the uh retail price on him she i think it was like 125 something like that that's not bad honestly that's not bad though because like you know it's sustainable yeah. you know it's gonna like it's gonna last you damn near a oh, lifetime yeah, yeah. bro yeah put that shit through so much when i used to go out and skate before it got cold as shit yeah i would take that and just like throw it on the pavement like it was just, it's just a good bag This is tough. It's hard. This is fire, bro. I'm about to turn this down for y'all, but we're about to do a quick little unboxing. I want to say first and foremost, that is literally like one of my favorite songs right now. I heard it for the first time in my last video at In Search of ATL, and since then, it's just been stuck in my head. But uh, we're going to take it back to the OG roots, you know what I'm saying? Do a quick little unboxing because we do have a special delivery from the good people over at Basket Case Gallery. So I'm really liking the way these are looking in the packaging. So I don't even want to do too much talking. Let's just jump right into it. So for the first piece, we have a zip up with a ballerina on the front. Now, I really like this graphic. Um, I didn't even think it was going to be this high quality. Like, think about how much detail was put into this graphic. You would think that there would be like little cracks and things of that nature. But I really can't even put into words too much on how I feel because I haven't tried it on yet but just based off the first initial impression this is definitely a great quality zip up now one thing that I do notice off the bat is that on the website it had more of a darker finish to it so I did think it was going to be more so a jet black this honestly reminds me of like a I could say charcoal. I do believe this is wholesale, so they have like a manufacturer that makes blank zip ups. So this was the actual colorway rather than it be faded from like natural character and like over time. I believe, yeah, this is like that charcoal black. Okay, I really like the vibe of this. In addition to this beautiful graphic right here, we do have some paint splatters right under it, which I definitely feel like makes the tee much more well rounded. You guys already know how much I love paint splatter. And um, even though this is more so like strategically placed, it's not like 
a painter actually went into the warehouse and started painting and said, oops, fuck, I just got some paint all over my tea. This was definitely like, okay, we need to put the paint here, then we're gonna put the paint here. This is also like that charcoal black ashy gray, which I do believe it fits this crew neck more than the other pieces because this just gives you that vibe. Like I said, I don't know, I really can't put it into words, but this one of them ones. On the front, you have like this Rottweiler. I wanna say it's a Rottweiler because you already know, Rottweilers always look so vicious. And for some reason, it's always been like a trend to put Rottweilers on certain pieces. And then obviously on the top and bottom surrounding the graphic, you have that basket case and those big bold letters that honestly give you that college vibe like I previously said in the other pieces, which I love right now. This is a cool piece and out of all the pieces, not including the zip up since that's more outerwear, like a light jacket, out of all the t-shirts or the shirts I could say, I'm definitely gonna get the most wear out of this. Like. This is down my alley for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right now. Now, if you don't know, I've been wearing tote bags like crazy. Like I have the Rick Owens one over there that usually come with the shoes and like the garments and stuff like that. Um, but I'm definitely looking to get more tote bags because I usually put my computer, my books, my hand sanitizer, like everything is much more accessible when I put it into a tote bag because I don't have to worry about taking my backpack off, just searching, digging through. I could literally just take the tote bag off my shoulder, look for what I'm looking for, use it, put it right back in the tote bag. So again, shout out to Basket Case Gallery. This was definitely a fun little unboxing and I will be putting use to all the pieces that I did end up purchasing. I truly feel like they have a really great brand for people that want to find sustainability as well as find essentials that that they can wear day in and day out and still have design aspects to it to make you feel fly like it's truly for everyone and you don't come across that too much nowadays like a brand that truly makes clothes for everyone these are cool but like i feel like i'm gonna just wear beat these to the ground because like this is like the perfect starter boot so like whenever i do get into like real boots that y'all got i don't know like this is where i started out but like yeah. i want something that doesn't have such a like, this is like a trendy combat boot. Yeah. Like, I want something that's actually like, let's go like Vietnam War era. Now, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's like some real, like. Yeah. You gotta go hunt for those. Like, I actually, you can just go on like eBay or some shit. These are the uh, Helmet Lane painters. Now, the cool thing about those, like I said, Owen gave those to me. And, like, bro, Owen, if you're watching this, bro, like, I've always appreciated you because, like, Obviously to this day, bro, you still inspire me. Like I be motivated every single time I see you make a move, it make me want to go harder. So I'm definitely keeping those. Like there's no way I can sell those. And you're not seeing that type of wash now. Yeah. Like that wash is crazy, bro. He also gave me these too. I still won't sell these. These like 505s as well. These look really good with these. Um, mm. But I just need more pieces to like match up with great. Like bro, people be thinking I have hella clothes. I really don't, bro. But like, this is like the rack of shit that I actually wear. Like, when I wake up for school, or right, what am I gonna wear? I just filter through these day in and day out. So like, I'll wear, like right now this basic tee, I'll wear this like, if I don't feel like getting dressed, like three times out of the week, I ain't gonna lie. And I'll just filter <laughs> it out with different shit. I'll be wearing this black tank top. Like okay. every other day, I be washing that shit. Hell yeah, time. matter of fact, not yeah. on that subject. Run down the fit, we all gonna do our fits. Office and creative. Boots, uh, orange tab Levi's. I think these are 501s. I want to say, oh, they're stressing on the bottom, too. Yeah, man. bro. I love you. Did that, or you unhemmed them, or did yeah, unhemmed them. Yeah, chain I thrifted another chain I got from Hobby Lobby. This jean shirt that I got off of the real real, I forget what brand it is, and just a, a black tank top, and then an Isabel Marant ring. So, for my fit, uh, I'm gonna go start with the accessories. This is the necklace and pendants that i got from the last video if you haven't seen that i got this beanie now i think i got this from either old navy or like h&m i don't know one of those fast fashion stores i was my mom just got a quick little beanie yeah. earrings uh this is a jacket that i thrifted um, i'm not sure what brand it is but it has like damn yeah i don't know what brand it is i think it just says american on it yeah, american yeah, apparel yeah, yeah so, so just cool. an american apparel black denim jacket with sherpa inside Regular black gilding tee that I thrifted. Uh, some black straight legged docker jeans that I thrifted like a year ago. And then Ricky main lines. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. This is a Marcel Everett uh, necklace. And then this is the Jacob tee. These are just some regular pants. I kind of just threw these on to go with the fit. It was kind of clean. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, the Converse Ricks. I ain't gonna lie, I had to get them when they came out. Are those comfortable? Like, do they? Cause I know regular Converse, a lot of people complain. Yeah. Like me personally, when I had Converse, I knew that they weren't like, for example, these under here, are not comfortable. I have some other Converse. They're like the uh, the Chuck purple. Yeah, okay. yeah, I ain't gonna lie, those were like, 
they were cool, but after a while, you start to hurt like the heel part. Yeah. But with these, I ain't gonna lie, they're really comfortable, honestly. Okay, like, cool, It's got cool. a little cushion inside, too. I might as well just talk about some pieces that I regret buying or some pieces that I bought in the past. And if y'all have any pieces that y'all regret buying or any pieces that you could think of that you regret, um, just let me know. So, the first piece that I want to show y'all that I, I lightweight regret buying um, is this. Now... This used to, and I know a lot of people are gonna, matter of fact, I'm finna just grab all the pieces that I feel like yeah. I regret buying. Um, cause I, I feel like I got a few. That's how y'all feel about this. Yeah. Matter of fact, so, but it's like, the first piece that I regret buying is this capital button up. I spent a pretty cool amount on this because I really wanted a capital button up and I thought I seen the measurements and measured it up correctly because the, of the things that I've had in the past, but this is too small. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a size four and I still can't fit it. Like it stops like right here. Oh. So you might want to try this on if you do want to purchase it, you know what I'm saying? Be my guest, I ain't gonna lie. And I'll throw you a steal. Now the next thing that I could say I regret buying is this V-Lone denim jacket. Mm. Now, Bari, if you watching this, bro, I still support you, my guy. Keep going crazy. Um, this is a cool denim jacket for me in the past. Most of the pieces that I had in the past were more so clothes that were cool to look at. Now I'm focused on like, all right, what am I actually wearing every single day rather than just stepping out for quote unquote photo shoots. Yeah. So I feel like this was definitely a photo shoot piece. Price that you see all over girl, like 1500, 1600. Um, just know I didn't pay that much for this. But I can definitely say, um, I'm at a point in my life where I'm not stepping outside walking around with the, a big V on the yeah, back with a stripper. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just not me no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I still like it. It's still a cool jacket nonetheless to look at, but that's all it is for me. Just a cool jacket to look at. I'm not actually wearing this on my day to day. So, sad to say, but I regret I regret <laughs> buying this V. I can't even say it. See how my face, bro? I regret buying this V-Long jacket. Let's see my boy Shay try it out. Wait. Let what? me. What is this? Oh. Whose bag is this? You never told me you had this brand. Or I feel like you did tell me you did make things, but you never told me that you had like a... What is this? Like a... Oh, is this overdye? Would you call it overdye? Like what? How'd you get it this color? You talking about buying capital. How do I buy this, bro? Do you have any more or no? I think I got one more. Let me buy it off you. Yeah, Let me you. buy it off you. And also, do you not, could you possibly make two? Like, or make one. Wait, you say you made this from scratch, right? Yeah. Could you make me one with this on the inside and then black on the outside? So like, this will be black and then this will be this? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Y'all see it right here. When y'all see me step out, just know who made it, man. Shay's madness. I actually fuck with it. I fuck with how short it is, but I would yeah. definitely have to wear it with like a longer shirt. Let me know if you want to get that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'll get it I'm to you really first, too. This shit is, this shit is fine. Throw me an offer right now. If you serious, throw me an offer right now. Mm. I'll give you a steal. So if it's a low ball, like whatever you can deem a low ball, I'll let you know, all right, that's a little too low, but we can work on that. I want to say, how much did you pay for it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's why I regret buying it. <laughs> How much did those go for? Because I, I do think I got ripped on the price, for lack of better words. I saw them go for like three, four. I paid three twenty five. Okay, that's not Man, too that's bad. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, by the way, if y'all don't know, he's trying on my baby, uh, dream baby, dream, uh, number nine skull hoodie. Now this is like a grail, bro. Like this is like a a piece that a lot of people want. And I've always told myself that I was gonna keep it, but like I said, now I'm just trying to dress more sustainable and like what's actually me, like what's authentic to my character. And I just know, like, that's just not me no more. Yeah. Go, can you see him yeah, in the other thing? I tried on hell, yeah. Cool. I ain't gonna lie though. I'm gonna have to wax you on that one. Like, I'm, I'm not. In, I, I would too. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in no yeah. rush to sell that because even though I don't wear it on a day to day, I would still like every blue moon go out and wear it well, though. Yeah. Because that's just one of them ones. Like, that's a special. That's a special jacket for sure. I ain't gonna lie. If you wanted that, I'll give seven, like six fifty seven. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. 657? Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's not the price hard, range. Though, bro. This is like some I just can't sell. Like, especially RP to Virgil, bro. Like yeah. especially after that, like bro, I'm not getting no profit off of this. Just to have something that's like a runway piece at that. It's like bro, I'm keeping this for like some collectible type shit. Like this is like a this is history to me, so I really, I really love this piece, bro. Like, it's always gonna have a special place in my heart because even though I wasn't the biggest off-white fan or like the biggest fan of everything Virgil did, like nobody can say he did it shift the culture. Yeah, and sure. just because of that, I have a piece of the culture now. So 
I can't sell this. Yeah. I can't. Also, another piece that I can't sell. So I guess we're going like halfway pieces that I can't sell, pieces that I would like to sell yeah. that I regret buying. I can't sell this. Sicko. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece like means a lot to me too. I can't sell it. All the pieces that Owen's ever given me, I just can't sell, bro. So. This is one of the ones. You know that's crazy. What? You can't even buy sickle on grilled anymore. Oh. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, mm -hmm. they have it. Like they took all oh, the that's, off the bro, grill. Bro, oh, that's why I couldn't sickle. find the um. Like I want to say, like two months ago when I first moved down here, I wanted to buy the sicko unwanted collab with like the. It was like yellow with like the sun as the sicko. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, yeah. I was searching mm -hmm. grill. That shit was nowhere to be found. I'm like, yeah, I know I didn't somebody know they did has that. this. Yeah, I saw that shit and I looked it up. Like I was just like, I went on Google and just looked it up, and then it was like an announcement where grill like sent out like they will be removing all sicko Why? born from pain. So currently, everyone, it is 8:30. My friends ended up leaving, but there's still one more piece that. I could say that I truly regret buying which I have talked about in previous videos but I do want to show you guys just for the fun of it the last piece that I regret buying is this <sighs> Givenchy hat this hat's not even bad like me personally I'm not stepping outside with a hat with horns on it it's still a cool hat though don't get me wrong the only reason why I say I regret buying it is because it doesn't fit who I am nowadays it doesn't fit the way I live my life. Same thing with the V-Loan jacket. Like I've made a lot of purchases in the past and when I'm at the point where I'm at now in my life where I know who I wanna be, I know who I am, this right here doesn't represent that. This is the last thing I'm gonna say because I can literally talk forever, but you guys are literally witnessing me change my wardrobe firsthand because the Givenchy hat doesn't represent who I am. That does not represent Cash K. I know that for a whole fact. Um, same thing with the V-Lone stripper jacket. I've never been to a strip club before. I know that's not me. A quick example, my parents were in the military. That's why I wear so much olive. That's why I like wearing military garments. That's why I'm starting to get into combat boots. I can feel that inspiration of what I actually lived come back full force on me. When I was a little kid for my birthday, my dad, I'll never forget this, my dad and my granddad made a mini ramp because obviously I couldn't afford to get a real ramp. So they say, you know what, we finna go to Home Depot, we finna buy some slabs of wood, and we gonna make this for you. So, hence, that's why I love wearing Vans, that's why I love wearing Ricks, you know what I'm saying, the, the Rick Ramones, because it almost gives me like a skateboard vibe, a very urban streetwear vibe in that sense. A lot of things that I was into when I was younger are starting to come back full circle, and I'm realizing like, man, like, that was me all along. Not a Javachi hat with horns on it. I'm gonna just leave it on that note because I know a lot of y'all are younger than me that watch my videos and some of y'all are my age still trying to find your style just like me. And just remember what you actually represent. I've seen so many pieces and now I'm to that point where it's like, yeah, I like the way that looks, but if it doesn't serve a purpose in my life, I'm not getting it because that's not me. Just make sure you think about that. I feel like it's a perfect way to end off this vlog before you buy a piece, really think about what purpose it serves in your life. Why are you getting it? If you're looking to be a mechanic or an engineer, someone that has a lot of hands-on treatment with everything that happens in their life around them, you would get cargos because they have multiple pockets. You could put your keys in one pocket. You could put appliances in another pocket. You know what I'm saying? Think about stuff like that. How do you live your life? And the piece that you're thinking about buying what purpose does that serve in your life? I'm gonna leave it at that. I love you guys. Again, if you're into fashion, music, art, or anything culture, you're at the right place. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that little tiny bell right next to it so you can be notified whenever I post a video. And also, drop a like on this video because it does help out the channel a ton. And we can come together to defeat and conquer. Well, not defeat. Let me stop saying that because I love YouTube and I don't want them to turn on me. Look at my channel already. But we need to conquer this YouTube algorithm and go up. We need more people in the fashion community. I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.